Praise God. <coughs> Praise Master Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Good mo Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. God bless you. Good afternoon. God bless you for tuning in. <coughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. God bless you all. God bless you all. Please, as you just tuned in, can you please invite your friends to join us in this live broadcast? God bless you all. God bless you all. <clears throat> God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you all. God bless you all. Praise God. Praise God. I want us to <clears throat> begin to thank God this afternoon as we are here in the presence of the Lord to, you know, rejoice together and listen to the word of God the Lord has for us today. I want us to bow down our head and pray and give honor to whom honor belongs to. The man that has made us to see the light of today, let's begin to praise him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, King of glory, we bless you this afternoon. We appreciate you. We give you all the glory because we know you are our God. We thank you for the life you have given to us today. We thank you for the breath of life. We thank you, O oh God. For the ability to have woken up this morning to be able to do one or two things. We thank you for bringing us again in your temple, in your house, in your, in your fellowship together. We thank you, O oh God, Jehovah God. Because it, we know that it is not by our power that we have gathered here today. We know that it is not by might that we have gathered here today. But we know that it is by your spirit, O oh God, that we are here again today in this present new year of 2018. Lord, we are starting again our fellowship, our, 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 our spending time together with you. Lord, we pray that you will come and manifest yourself in our midst today in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to begin to pray and worship God. Thank God for the gift of life. Thank him because he's worthy. Father, Lord, we thank you because we know this year, 2018, as we are coming to fellowship again in your presence, Lord, you will not leave us, you will not pass us by in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we know that you will manifest yourself in our lives. We know that you will show forth your glory. You, we know that this year, O oh God, is a year, O oh God, Jehovah, that you rewrite every story in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, we pray for mercy. We pray for forgiveness of sin. In any way we have sinned against you, in any way we have wronged you, in any way we have done something that is not pleasing to you, Father, we ask for mercy. Let your mercy prevail in the name of Jesus. Let the blood that you share on the cross of Calvary prevail for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for paved way. Speak to the atmosphere. Speak to the airways. Speak to anything, O oh God, that will stand against your word. Speak to spirits that are not of God. Speak to every agent of darkness. Father, Lord, we pray that this year, O oh God, they will not have anything to do with us, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we take them off our sight. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we bind every evil eye, every evil monitoring demon on our walls on Facebook, any man or woman that will be coming to monitor our our Facebook, monitor what we are doing. Agents of darkness, we bind you all today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we silence them, O oh God. Any man or woman that will come on our page to take our picture for any evil, whatever it is, God, we bind them in the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, we pray that our world will be a wall of glory, a wall where people will give their life to Jesus, a wall where people will come and listen to the word of God that is refining, a wall where people will come, they will see what will, 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 you know will, something that will nourish their spirit in the lord in the mighty name of jesus father lord we pray that our world will not be a wall of mockery it will not be a wall of shame it will not be a wall that will bring shame to the kingdom of god but a wall that will bring glory to the name of jesus christ of nazareth the man that has died for us and shared his precious blood on the cross of calvary father we thank you today because we know that this is what we ask in this year and onward that you will grant our heart desire that you make us so oh god source of blessings to many in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because we know we will be blessed today in the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, we thank you. Be magnified, be honored, be lifted in Jesus' precious name. 
we have all prayed. Amen and amen. Beloved, I want to welcome you all again in the mighty name of Jesus. I welcome you all in the precious name of Jesus. I am your host this morning, Evangelist Lovelyn Obi from CBHIM, which is Christ the Beauty of Holiness International Ministry here in United Kingdom. And um, by the grace of God, I just want to wish you all again Happy New Year. You know, I have not come live since this year. You know, I praise God for what God is doing. Today now, <clears throat> all the, the kids have gone back to school so I can have my time to myself and begin to share the Word of God again with my folks here on Facebook. The Lord Almighty will bless you all. I just want to use this opportunity to appreciate all my followers on Facebook. I want to thank God for your lives. I want to thank you for your support, your prayers, your encouragement for the year past, which is year 2017, our year of full harvest. And indeed, we did harvest it. I know what I told God from the beginning of the year 2017. I said, God, this year 2017, I'm going to harvest souls for you. And indeed, the Lord made name for himself. I thank you all who supported me to, you know, to, to have done that you know, for the kingdom of God, and I pray that your reward is awaiting you in the mighty name of Jesus. For those of you who have been sharing my post, who have been inviting people, who have been trying to help to spread the gospel, even as it's coming out from us, the Lord God Almighty will not forsake you. He will not abandon you in the mighty name of Jesus. This year, by the special grace of God, this year, 2018, is our year of divine focus, as the Lord has instructed. That is our year of divine focus. This year is the year of divine focus with great stability in Christ. You cannot just be focused without being stable. You have to be stable to be divinely focused. This year, God is looking for people who want to serve him from their heart. Not people that will be serving God because they needed something from God. I mean, the kingdom of God is fed up of such people. God is looking out for people that he will use to manifest his glory. God is looking out for people that are tasty for the things of heaven, for the things of righteousness. God is looking for people who want to say, oh, I am tired of my previous life. I am tired of my sinful ways. I don't want to you know, live in my old ways anymore. I want to be a new person. The Bible says, if a man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, everything is becoming new in your life, in my life, in this year 2018. It does not matter what the handwriting of the enemy may be saying. It does not matter the conclusion of yourself concerning your life. It does not matter what your background has concluded against you. But I am telling you today that the word of the Lord is promising myself and you. That if you be in Christ, that if I be in Christ, he said we are new creatures. All things have passed away. Your old life has passed away. Say, behold, all things, everything. He, he didn't say this one and that one. He didn't exclude anything. Everything was included. Say, all things have passed. All things have become new. You have become a new churches in the, in, in the Lord Jesus. So this year, by the grace of God, I want us to divinely focus our heart on the things that matters to God. Yes. On the things that matters to God. And I am telling you that if you do, heaven will write your name in the book of life. And delete your name from the book of death. And delete your name from the book of shame. Delete your name from the book of mockery. Delete your name from the book of lack. Delete your name from the book of anything negative. Your name will be written in the book of possibility. Yes, because the Bible says with God, all things are possible to them that believe. Do you believe? Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe that this year, as you begin to run this year with Jesus, that all will be well with you? That all will be well with you? This year, in fact, this is my first video for this year, 2018. Apart from the one I did on 31st night, this is the first video. I want to invite us all again afresh. I want to invite you again to Jesus Christ of Nazareth because it is with him that we can do things and accomplish. It is with him that our life will turn around. It is with him that whatever we do will prosper. That is his promise. 
He said he wish above all things that we prosper and be in good health, even as our soul prospered. Do you see that he's a loving God? Do you see he's a God who cares for your soul? He's, he's not only caring that you prosper here on earth. He said he, he wish above all things that ye prosper. Ye prosper. Myself prosper. You self prosper. And be in good health. Even as our soul prosper it. In other words, it is the wish of God that our soul prosper. So we can inherit the kingdom of God. So that we can spend eternity with Jesus. So we will not just prosper here on earth and miss the main thing. When a man die and he miss the kingdom of God, your prosperity here on earth is just a vanity upon vanity. When you acquire all you need to acquire here on earth and you don't acquire the kingdom of God attached to it, your, your prosperity here is, is just, it just, it just like a filthy garment. It's just like nothing. It's just like you have not even achieved anything until you acquire Christ together with it. Then you will know you are living a fulfilled life. Because you are not just living here on earth. You are living even a life after here. I am telling you. Because the Bible says for once it is appointed unto man to die. It said after that judgment follows. Judgment follows. I want us to, to reckon something in our spirit. That if Jesus come now in this year 2018. Am I ready? Am I prepared? Am I ready? Am I prepared? That is the question I want you to be asking yourself so that you begin to make every necessary change you need to make in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus loves you and by the special grace of God, I have a good news for you here. Yes, I have a good news for you. Do you know what is the good, is the, is the good news? It's the word of God because the word of God is the good news is the good news. The Bible said the word of God is light. He said, and light shines in darkness and darkness could not comprehend it. What does that mean? Any area in your life that there is darkness, any area in your life that you are struggling with, when the light of God shines upon it, that area of your life will receive life. That area of your life will receive light. That area of your life will receive the touch of God. And darkness in that area will disappear. Because the Bible says darkness and light has nothing in common. That is the good news I have for you today. The good news that the light of Jesus is spreading your way. It's coming your way right now. The light of Jesus is coming in your direction. The light of Jesus is coming in that dark area of your life. The light of Jesus is coming into your family this year, 2018. The light of Jesus is coming into your marriage. The light of Jesus is coming into your business. The light of Jesus is coming into your career. The light of Jesus is coming into that thing only you knows about the light of Jesus I see it shining I am telling you that when the light of Jesus shine upon that dark area of your life that darkness could not comprehend it because the power of God will surely supersede the power of darkness in you because greater power is he that has Christ than he that is the carrier of whatever that is not of God. I am telling you by the power that raised Jesus from the grave. That today you are coming out of every limitation. Jesus is here right now to minister to you. To fill your, your bones. To fill your spirit. To fill your body. Because God has what it takes to do it. God has what it takes to do it. There is no run out. When it comes to what God can do, there is no impossibility when it comes to what God can do. There is no lack when it comes to what God can do. What we need to do is to position ourselves, is to properly position our mind, is to renew our mind to the things that connect to God. Because outside that, we cannot attract the glory of heaven until we begin to connect our spirit, our heart to the things that matters to God. They say where a man's heart is, that is where his treasure is. Where is it? Where is the place your heart is? Where do you lay your heart? What are those things that attract you? Begin to attract God this year. 
begin to attract the glory of God this year so that the hand of God, hey, so that the hand of Jesus himself will rewrite your story. I see that hand rewriting your story. I see that hand of God rewriting your story. It is no joke. If you believe it, you see it work. It's as simple as ABC. We, we ourselves, you know, impose unnecessary things on ourselves by ourselves because we do not believe that Jesus can. Until we begin to have that mindset that Jesus can, that Jesus can heal me, that Jesus can restore me, that Jesus can revive my life, that Jesus can make me all that he has promised me, that Jesus, because he's the creator of my life, because I did not make myself in my own image, he made me in his own image, therefore I live as I live, I live for Christ, until you begin to prophesy like this, I am telling you, some certain things will not live your life. Some certain things will believe that you are still their, their partner. Yes, stop partnering with the devil so that the hand of the Lord will, will, will complete what he has started in your life. Come this year, 2018, in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, do you know what? Are you with your Bible there? I want to take you to the book of John chapter 2. I want us to see the, the magnitude the, the magnitude of the power of God at work in that John chapter 2. The power, the pressure, oh my God. The, 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 the ability, the, the sufficient anointing that can produce all things. Hiya. The anointing of Jesus is not anointing that can, you know, that can, that can be messed up. It's not anointing that does not know what he's doing. Except if you yourself don't know what you're doing with God. The anointing of Jesus is anointing of productivity. The anointing of Jesus is the anointing that can make way. That can break yokes, break barriers, break limitations. I am telling you, in the calendar of my God, there is no limitation. That is why I'm telling you that this year, 2018, is our year of divine focus. And as you begin to focus your mind on God and begin to run with God, there is no limitation that will be before you that you will not conquer. I am telling you because Jesus Christ has done it before. Your own case is not, a, it can't be the new one. He can't stop even in your own time. He will continue to do it. He will continue to be God. He will continue to manifest his glory. He will continue to be what makes him God. Because he is God. He is not man. We did not make God. God is God. He is God. He is not man. He is God all by himself. He created us. He knows our heart desires. Even before we open our mouth, God knows us. Praise God. And I'm telling you today, that as we explore this John chapter 2, and believe what God can do, I am telling you today, that it does not matter what it is that has run out of your life. All you need to do is to start your life with Christ this year. No matter what has run out of your life. No matter what it is that is lacking behind in your life. There is capacity. The, 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 there is, you know, great power of Jesus that can never be insulted. At work to put things in order in your life. Only if you believe that Jesus can. And he will do it. Because he has done it before. And he will do it again in your life and in my own life this year, 2018, in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, I want us to read John chapter 2. And the Bible says, On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana, Galilee. And he said, And the mother of Jesus was there. The mother of Jesus was there. And he said, now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. Are you inviting Jesus into your life this year, 2018? Look at that. The celebrants knew that they needed the master. Hey, And they said, master, please, can you come to this occasion? Because I know if you are present in this occasion, everything will go well. Am I talking to somebody in the house today? 
Are you ready to say, Master Jesus, come into my life this year? Are you ready to say, Jesus, come and be the pioneer of my destiny this year? Are you ready to say, Jesus, come and be the, 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 the driver, the, the driver of my, my destiny this year? Because I cannot turn the steering myself. I can't do the maneuverings. Do you know what it is? It's, do you know what it's called maneuvering in driving? <laughs> that is what is failing a lot of people here in the UK. When you, when you want to do your driving test or driving whatever, there's a lot of stuff that fail people from not having their full license in the United Kingdom. That is, that is where the challenge is. Not only the maneuvering. There is a lot to, 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 to drive in here. I am telling you that now let's bring it back to your destiny. There are things you cannot maneuver on your own. Hey, there are some certain, you know, points, strategies. There are some certain challenges. There are some certain things you cannot maneuver. No matter how educated you are. No matter how PhD, professor, whatever you have as a degree, as master's, as anything. It, it does not, there are some certain things that does not have to do with education. There are some certain challenges a man will face. Your own intelligence will fail you. Higher, until you begin to know that this is what God can do. And involve that God. That situation will remain like that. That is what I'm trying to tell somebody. That are you ready to invite Jesus in your life this year? To help him maneuver things for you. Those situations that you cannot maneuver by yourself. Those things that has been giving you sleepless nights that you cannot maneuver by yourself. I see the power of the Holy Ghost. I moving into that situation and turning things around. Only if you let him. Remember the Bible says that they were invited. Jesus and his disciples was invited. Are you inviting Jesus in your life right now as you're hearing me? Are you ready to invite him? Telling him, Master, please come and take over my life. Come and take over this health issue. Doctors have told me I can't eat, I can't walk, I can't, I can't do this with my body. But with the report of the Most High God, I see myself standing from that sick bed and taking my steps forward. Is it that you have been told your destiny cannot amount to anything? Tell yourself that with this year, as I'm running with God, my destiny will surprise many. What it is that you know, what it is you want God to come in and have his place as you begin to do them this year the power of god may it locate you in the mighty name of jesus the bible says, and they he said now jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding and verse 3 said and when they ran out of wine the mother of jesus told him they have no wine i want to ask a question what it is, what is that thing that has run out of your life? What is that thing that looks like, oh, you have given up on yourself. You have concluded that it cannot be anymore. What is that thing that has run out of your life? Like, I don't know, only you know what it is. I am telling you, let's see what Jesus can do. Because I said that with Jesus, there is no impossibility. Rather, in the calendar of heaven, possibilities is inevitable. Ha, yeah, 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 yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know if somebody is getting what I'm saying. And again, the Bible said in that verse 4, And Jesus said to her, Woman, what does your concern have to do? With me, my hour has not yet come. I want us to drag, draw, drag something out from that verse four. I want to, I want us to begin to know that there is time and season for everything. I want us to know that because Jesus knew that it is not yet His time, <laughs> there is time for everything. When your time comes. There is nothing the devil can do. I am not saying that there is no devil. I am not saying that there is no witches and wizards. I am not saying that there is no manipulators of destiny. I am not saying that there is no occults, occultists and the rest of them. They are, they exist. But I am telling you, he that is walking with Jesus Christ, 
There is nothing the enemy can do with that man. He that is walking with Jesus Christ, even if they kill your flesh, but they can't kill your spirit. If you know what you are doing with your God, I am telling you, know when it is your time. Know when it is your time because a lot of you this year, 2018, is your time. Know when it is not yet your time to do some certain things. Know when it is your time to do some certain things and know when it is your time not to do some certain things so that you don't force yourself into doing what you are not out to do. So that you don't put yourself into tight corner. Many of us, we are rushing. We have put ourselves into tight corner because we don't know what time is it in our life. We don't know what time is it. The Bible says Jesus knew it. And he told his mother, why disturbing me at this hour? For it is not yet time. In other words, time is precious in a man's life. When time is wasted, some certain things will remain unaccomplished. When time is wasted unnecessarily, there are some certain things that will remain dormant, undone in our lives. Because we do not use our time wisely. We don't use our time wise. There are some things that cannot just go in our lives. Because of time. If you allow everything to just go in your life, every day can hurry, just goes. You are wasting your time. If you allow everything that just comes, just in your life like that. Because there are some things you should start avoiding in your life. So that you can attract the glory of God and fulfill your destiny. Until you begin to wave those things off. You are tying yourself down. You are doing no man. You are doing yourself. Until you know your time. The Bible says Jesus knew it is not yet time for such action. Hallelujah. But when the time came, when he knew that this is the set time. He told them what to do. Let's read on. The Bible says in verse 5, his mother said to, to the servant, Whatever he says to you, do it. Do you get that scenario? It's like somebody came to me and said, Lovely, we are in this party. And um, as I was reading that scripture, you know, I, 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 I understand that. Jesus is a man of is a man of spirit. He's a man who lives in you know, is a man that doesn't dwell in carnality because just like the Bible says that those in the spirit understand the things of the spirit, and those with carnal minded body only understand the things of carnality. All they understand is smoking, clubbing, carrying women, killing, doing all sort of things. But a spiritual man understands the things of the spirit understands when he should not talk in some certain gathering understands when he should not drink understands when there is a place you will appear the holy spirit will tell you do not eat and do not drink there's some place you will appear like this a man that is the carrier of the holy ghost when you appear like this things something will tell you something and that is the spirit of god addressing you jesus understood that hallelujah Told that to her mom, and the Bible said the mother, too, understanding the kind of son that she had. Hey, understanding is very important in this thing we are talking about. We need to understand some certain things. Understanding somebody shouts, understanding, understanding is very, very important because there are times that if Jesus' mother do not understand him and continue to persuade him because he's his mother. Oh, son, because I, I bore you, you are my son, I carry you in my womb, I begin to command him anyhow. Oh yeah, do wine, do wine because wine has finished. Wine has finished here. We, we, they, they need wine because it's my, it's, I'm the mother. The Bible says Mary did not, you know, prompt Jesus in that manner. Look at what happened in that verse 5. And the Bible says, His mother said to the servants, Whatever he told you to do, please do. 
And the Bible say she keep quiet. She kept quiet. She has done her part. Whatever she told you, to, he told you to do. Please do it, because she knows what God can do with her, his, her son. Whatever I am telling you to do today by the leading of the Holy Spirit, please do. Whatever the word of the Lord is telling you to do today, this year, 2018, please do. This year is not the time to fight the word of God. This year is not the time to begin to fight the word of God. Fighting the word of God. A lot of people like fighting the word of God. Questioning the word of God. Whatever the scripture tells you to do, whatever the word of God tells you to do, please do it with all happiness, with all joy, with all confidence, knowing what you are doing. Whatever the scripture tells you to do, please do it. Just like the Mary says to the servants of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the verse says, Now, there were set there were set there six water pots of stone according to the according to the manner of purification of the Jews containing 20 or 30 gallons apiece and seven said Jesus said to them Jesus said to them <laughs> action is required if you want Jesus to move you from the level you are today to another level, you have to take some certain action. You can't just, every time you are hearing the word, just like the word of God is coming out now, you can hear it, you can perceive the anointing, you can feel the touch of God, and after hearing it, what do you do? What is it that the Lord has told you not to do? What is it that the word of God has told you to do? Are you beginning to do those things he instructed you to do and beginning to avoid those things that he said you should not do? That is where action is involved. It's not just the Bible says we should not be the hearer of the word alone, deceiving ourselves. He said we should be the doers of the word. Doers of the word, not only the hearing. We hear it now. You heard it and you left. Maybe you log off from this ministration now and you see some certain video again on Facebook and you begin to look. That, that message might not even, I don't know where all sort of ministers of God is coming out from now. Where this is end time. The Bible said it in the last days, all sort of prophets will come. In my name, professing all sort of prophecy. Preaching all sort of preaching. That is what is going on now. Maybe you log out here now, you log in into another thing. And you forget the message the Lord has ministered to you that will transform your life. And you forget to put them into practice. That is where you have allowed the devil to begin to steal the word of God that has been sown in your life. That is meant to germinate good fruit that will elevate you and catapult you to where God wants you to be. Then tomorrow you say somebody has done you. Hallelujah. The Bible says in that six, seven, I mean, having filled the water bottles and all that, the Bible says seven, and Jesus said to them, fill, having brought the, uh, the water bottles, I mean, and Jesus now instruct them to fill the water pots with water. Fill it. What is it that you have you want to bring to the master? We are talking about Jesus, a miracle worker, you know, wants to feel something that has run out in, in, in an event. You are a man created by God. I know in every area of a man's life, there will be a, an area that is lacking something. That is where you have run out of something. Just like this wedding in Canaan, in Galilee, run out of wine. And Jesus, having heard the, the you know, uh, uh, the servants of Jesus, having followed the instruction of the, the mother of Jesus, brought water bottles. There, there are things you need to bring together. 
bring together bring attitude back to yourself bring good behavior bring telling truth it could be what is affecting your destiny bring it the bible say come come let us reason together you have to come with something that you have to reason with god together you have to bring something it might be stealing that god wants you to bring today let's reason it together remove stealing from your life so that your life will be a good one remove lying remove fornication remove you know all sort of immorality remove ungodliness from your life remove all manner of atrocity anything i may not remember them one by one but whatever you know is not good stop doing it it could be where what you want to table to the lord it could be it could be the the, the water bottles that you are bringing to, they brought something they brought it and they table it. And then instruction came. Instruction did not come when the water bottles are, are not there. Because Jesus couldn't have seen what to prophesy on. He couldn't have seen what to minister to. What is that area in your life that you want to bring forth to the master today? Bring it. Table it before the even under this ministration. I don't care wherever you are, I don't care wherever you are listening from. The spirit of the Lord is all over the world. Jesus is one. The spirit of God is hovering right now, going to places, house to house, to as many that has connected to this ministration. I see the hand of God visiting you in another dimension, cleaning you up manifesting his glory in your life come this year 2018 in the mighty name of jesus you have to bring yourself table those things is it business table it is it smoking that you don't know how to handle you have been smoking you don't know how to leave it bring it as your water bottle keep it let the master do whatever he wants to do with it let the master wash you let the master clean you up. He has the power. He has the anointing. Is it confusion of what to do, like business or whatever? Bring your, your petition before the Lord. Table it before the Lord. Let God multiply that little you have. And it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us read on. He said, Jesus said to them, <clears throat> Fill the water, water pots with water. And they filled them to the brim. And verse 8 says, And he said to them, Draw some out now, and make it to the master of the feast. And they took it. When the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew, the groom he said, the master of the feast called the, the bridegroom and then said, and he told him, every man at the beginning, at the beginning sets out the good wine. And when the guests have well drunk, then the inferior, you have kept the good wine. Hmm, my God. So you have kept the good wine. Until now, you need to keep your good wine. You need to keep your good behavior. You, that's what I have I've explained. You have to let go anything that is not good. Bad behavior, bad character, anything that is not pleasing to God. Keep that which is good. Keep that which will attract the glory of God in your life. Keep good behavior. Keep good behavior. The Bible says we should be the imitators of good things. Be ye imitators of good things. Anything that is good, imitate it. Anything that is not good, leave it, forget it, don't even think about it. It is not the characteristics of a, a child of God. To begin to look into bad behavior, to begin to look into what is not of God. Look into things that will encourage you as a child of God. Look into things that will help you to grow in your journey with Christ Jesus. Keep that which is good. You see what, the, what Jesus told the servant? 
He kept the good wine till now. And verse 11 said, This beginning, this beginning of signs Jesus did in Canaan and Galilee. Say this that was the beginning of the signs Jesus did in Canaan and in Galilee. And I am telling you today, this year, 2018, as you begin to key into the word of God and begin to listen to it and abide by it, this will mark the beginning of the what God will do in your life. The beginning of signs and wonders of God in your life. The beginning of God's miracle. Um, in fact, uncomparable. Un 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 what God will do in your life this year, 2018. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Bible says, that is the beginning of signs Jesus did in the Canaan and Galilee, of Galilee. And manifested his glory. And his disciples believed in, in him. Praise God. Child of God, we are going to be praying now. The Bible said that was the beginning of the miracle Jesus did in, in Canaan and in Canaan of Galilee. Where his disciples saw it. They saw all that Jesus did. They saw what Jesus did. Jesus manifested his glory. He manifested his power. And his disciples believed him. I want to tell you something. That this year 2018, if only you can walk with God, if only will you give your life to Jesus, if only you will turn back from those wicked ways and turn to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesus Christ of Nazareth will touch your life in a way that human beings cannot understand it. He will touch your life in a way that even you yourself, you'll be like, wow, what is, is, is this me? Jesus Christ will refine your life. He will package you <laughs> and bring you out. The world will be confused. Is this this person? Am I sure? I, I, know, I, I know what I'm seeing. The miracle that Jesus will do in your life will make men around you to believe in you and believe in your God. People who have written you off today, who think you can't amount to anything, why not give Jesus a chance in your life? Why not allow Jesus to be the center of your, 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 whatever you are doing? Why not let Jesus be the pioneer of everything you lay your hand on? Why not let him? Why not let him in your studies? Why not allow him to do it for you? Why not wait for his time? Why not begin to confess your sins right now as you're listening to this message? And begin to confess them out. And begin to forsake them. And let Jesus himself transform you. And let men around you say, oh, that sister is a new person. That brother is a changed person. He don't longer behave like that anymore. I can see the hand of God touching his life. I can see a, a transformation around him. The glory of God. Remember the Bible says in that 11. He said, he said, that is the beginning of the sign Jesus did in, in, in Canaan of Galilee. And, mani and manifested his glory. Manifested his glory. May the glory of God be made manifest in your life this year. In the name of Jesus. I want us to open your mouth and confess your sins right now. And then let's begin to pray. Open your mouth and confess your sins. Confess your sins. Confess your sins. Ask the Holy Spirit to purge you from the inside to the outside. Ask the blood of Jesus to purge you with his high soap. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to pray. Say, Lord Jesus, purge me. Purge my spirit. Purge my heart. Purge my body. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray that the Lord will purge you. Ask, the, ask that the Lord to purge your heart. Purge your heart. Purge your heart. Purge your mind. Purge your thinking mentality. To purge everything. Let the power of Jesus lose you. Lose you from every captivity of the enemy. Is somebody praying with me right now? Ask the mercy of God to envelop you. Because when the mercy of God envelops you, everything will be possible in your life. I am telling you, you become a new person. All things will begin to flow for you. Ask that the mercy of God locates you this year. The mercy of God locates you this hour. Ask for the mercy of God to touch your life.
Ask for the mercy of God to, to, to visit you. Ask for the mercy of God to open a new chapter in your life. Ask the mercy of God to rewrite your story. Ask the mercy of God to pack all your mess. Ask the mercy of God to visit your family. Ask the mercy of God to visit your marriage. Ask the mercy of God to visit as the mercy of God to visit your health, as the mercy of God to visit your children, as the mercy of God to visit your husband, as the mercy of God to visit your plans this year, that good plan, that proposal, that plan in your hand, as the mercy of God to visit it. When the mercy of God visits it, Things will change for your good. In the name of Jesus, somebody, I want you to begin to pray like you mean it. Begin to pray like you mean it. Be in the spirit and begin to pray. Connect your heart to heaven. Say, Lord, visit me. Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, break barriers for my sake. Lord, break protocols for my sake. Lord, break boundaries for my sake. This year, 2018, you must accept Jesus. You must know that you have to do something for something to happen. I am telling you, I am telling you, that is how it works. Be ready to renew the way you think. Be ready to, to let go of your old ways. Ask Jesus to come in, take over. Ask him to take over. Ask him to take over. You know, when you cry, when a man cries from the heart, you will know a man who is crying from the heart and from a man who is crying from the lip. Don't cry from the lip this hour. You see this year? <laughs> this year is the year of the Lord. When I say 2018 is the year of the Lord. Why? Because it is a year that every man needs to reckon with Jesus. It is a ma a year that you need to know that Jesus, God is God and is not man. That without God, you can't be anything. That is why it is the year of the Lord. It is the year of the Lord. Let God come into your life. Let God have say. Many of us, we don't let God have say. Let God have say in your life. Give him chance to come in and pioneer things for you. And you will see that a lot of things will change dramatically in their own accord. It will change because a different person has stepped in. You may have been doing it all alone. You may have been sorting things out all, all alone. Why not allow Jesus to give it a finishing touch? To give it an everlasting aroma that can never go off. <laughs> I want you to get that thing I just said now. When Jesus is in need, there will always be change. Today, I pray for change in your life. I pray that heaven manifest his glory. Just like Jesus did in that wedding. May the power of Jesus manifest his glory. May God manifest his glory in your life. May God manifest his glory in your life. Somebody open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, Lord, manifest your glory in my life this year, 2018. Manifest your glory in my life. Father, manifest your glory in the life of as many that is watching me right now. Manifest your glory in their lives, O oh God. Manifest your power in their lives. Whatever it is they have tabled before you this day, O oh God. Manifest your glory in their life, O oh God. Show forth your power in their life, O oh God. Tell them that you are God. Minister to them. Minister to their soul. Minister to their spirit. Minister to their body. Anything it is that they are believing you for, O oh God. Whatever it is that is bothering them. Whatever it is that they want to let go as sin. Lord, help them to live their sinful lives. Help them to abandon their sinful lives. You that is crying for, that, for, for the mercy of God. To help you to do away with that sin, that secret sin. Receive grace. Receive power. Receive power. Receive grace to live a life without sin. In the name of Jesus. You that is crying for the touch of God. For divine turnaround. 
for divine multiplication. Hey, Jesus did it. He turned that water to wine. Everything was made available. And the party continues. What it is that I want to quench in your life? What is that effort you're making? And at some point, it looks, it looks like you can't cross some certain you know, level. Today, I prophesy grace to cross over that limitation upon your life. I prophesy abundance to cross over that barrier. In the name of Jesus, are you believing God for money? Those of you that are telling me you need money for business, open your heart right now. Revisit this video again. Click your share button right now. Begin to share this video. That is the, that is the way to even attract heaven. You cannot just be you, you, you can't you can't you can't be just come to a place that like is and just be watching. In the kingdom of God, everybody has to be busy. Everybody has to be busy. What are you doing right now? Are you clicking the share button? Are you inviting? Or you are just here? Click the share button right now. Click it, share it, invite your friends. Let them be a partaker of what God is doing right now. Because this message is going to change your life. Change the lives of your friends. You know that this message will be a blessing to. I am telling you that this year, God has written your name among those that he wants to bless. But you have to also help yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray for them who said they have no money for business. Touch their hands, oh God. Right now, let them receive anointing to attract favor. Favor in the name of Jesus. Financial favor. Father, the little that they have in their hands. As many who wants to invest this year. As many who has vowed. He don't want to be parabolating around streets anymore. He don't want to be hoping from house to house anymore. He don't want to be looking for who to give them. They want to be a, a blessing themselves. They want to be a blessing to themselves and to people around them with the little they have. You, the God of divine multiplication, you did it in Canaan, in Galilee. You did it. You manifested. The Bible says your glory showed forth. Let your glory show forth in the life of your children today in the name of jesus show forth your glory in their life show forth your power in their life whatever it is that's eating money whatever it is that's scattering wealth whatever it is that's scattering glory scattering blessing in their hands that some people when they touch something like before they know it that thing will melt off that thing will just scatter that thing will just scatter today let that power die in you in the name of jesus let that power come out of your life in the name of Jesus, let that power come out. Let that power come out. Let that power come out. That power that is scattering blessing in your life. That spirit that is devouring miracle, devouring breakthroughs, devouring divine hand of God in your life today. We die in the name of Jesus. I say, we die, we die, we die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, every barrier in your life, let the blood of Jesus clear it off today. As you reckon with heaven today, as you decide to reckon with heaven today, as you decide to walk with Jesus today, I prophesy upon your life that the anointing of Jesus that knows no boundary will break protocols for you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says he did it in Cana. There was no limitation. Everything went smoothly. The hand of God can perform every positive thing in your life. Can bring out the beauty of the Lord in you. Can remove you and repackage you. And therefore I'm telling you today, by the power in the name of Jesus, manifest your glory. Manifest your anointing. Manifest your blessings. Manifest salvation in the name of Jesus. Any power that's eating up your ability to serve God. Any power that's draining the urge of the love of God that you have in your heart. Today, I cast that spirit in the name of Jesus. That spirit that is draining the love of God. That is killing the urge. Somebody hear me. You hear me, hear me and hear God. Why is the love of God dying in your heart? The love of God is dying off in your heart. Somebody hear me. That spirit right now, I curse it. In the name of Jesus. So that spirit that is dragging, eating up the love that you have for God. 
that spirit i curse you right now you are watching you are listening to this message but you love god so much but all of a sudden something begin to happen to you that you don't understand and the love of god began to wash cold in your heart today holy ghost breathe upon that fellow now in the name of jesus breathe upon that fellow breathe upon that fellow breathe upon that fellow in the name of jesus power of the holy ghost move in that body now in the name of jesus anointing of heaven break yokes in the life of that fellow now in the name of jesus every power blinding the eye of this fellow against the love of god today let that veil open in the name of jesus let your eye open in the name of jesus every channel of wickedness against your life to channel your heart on the things that does not matter. Let me tell you, you that fellow. Devil want to use this strategy to kill you more. Devil want to use this strategy to keep you on a state of disarray. But I pray today that the hand of God is locating you. Is breaking that yoke. You are coming out of that lukewarm spirit. Now, in the name of Jesus, receive the fire of the Holy Ghost all over you. Now, by fire. Receive that fire. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now in the name of Jesus. From the from your head to your toe. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it begin to burn from your feet. Right to your body. Inside your body to your head. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Burn in the name of Jesus. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. Receive that fire. Let that fire burn. In, in, from your body let it begin to burn when it burn it will burn out every lukewarmness it will burn out every laziness to serve god it will burn out anything that has been stealing the the joy of the lord in your heart today that spirit is caused by the power in the name of jesus today be set loose today be revived in the name of jesus I drag you, that fellow, back to the body of Christ, back to Jesus himself. Receive the hand of God. Let the hand of God touch you. Let it touch you and let your life be made whole. The Bible says, for him, for whom the Son of God has set free, he is free indeed. Today you are free in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Father, we bless your name because we know you are awesome. There is none to compare you with, O oh God. Somebody begin to bless God. Begin to bless the name of the Holy Ghost. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to bless God. Father, we worship you, God. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus, for what only you can do. Thank you, Father, for what only you can do. Thank you for the revival you have given us today. Thank you for the new life. Thank you for the new beginning. Hey, thank you for the transformation. Thank you for turning things around for our good. Thank you for rewriting our names, O oh God. Deleting our names from the book of shame, from the book of death, from the book of lack, from the book of unproductivity, to the book of every good thing you have for your children this year. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We bless you. Wonder working God, we give you praise. Miracle worker, we exalt you. Miracle worker, we give you praise. Receive our thanks, O God. Receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. King of glory, this message today, we thank you because your children have heard it. We thank you because you are turning things around for their good. We thank you because everything that is lacking in, your, in their lives, in one way or the other, in any way they have run out of something, in any way that something has run out of their life today, the hand of God that did it in Cana, in Galilee, will do it in their lives today. Those things, heaven is refilling. Those breakages in your life, heaven is refilling them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because we know you have done in our lives today what only you can do. 
Receive that praise, mighty God. We soak our lives with the blood of Jesus. I soak everyone viewing me right now with the blood of Jesus. I soak you with the blood of Jesus. I soak your souls with the blood of Jesus. As you begin to walk with the Lord this year. Hmm. Oh Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, because I know you have new people. As many that has decided to follow Jesus now, oh God, Father, I bless you for their lives because I can see hearts changing. I can see hearts accepting Jesus right now. I can see hearts being touched, being transformed. I can see sober spirits, sober minded people right now. But I'm telling you, please do not go back lukewarm anymore. As you have made your decision right now, I release the angels of guidance to begin to guide you from today. Perfect order concerns you and session you out for the glory of God to be revealed according to the word of God in John chapter 2 verse 11. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Bible says in that scripture, Jesus' glory was revealed. His glory was made manifest. He, it was not hidden at all. That is how you will not be hidden this year. I don't care what it is. <clears throat> I'll be setting you back. But because the glory of God was not hidden. That is how you will not be hidden this year. The glory of God in your life will not be hidden. It will make manifest. It will show itself. Very mighty. <laughs> of men that they will know that you serve a living God father we give you praise Lord we bless you thank you mighty redeemer for what you have done for what you will do again in our life in the name of Jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Jesus thank you Holy Spirit thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the lives you have touched. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the doors you are opening. Thank you, Jesus, for the deliverance right now. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for reviving your people. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your divine transformation. Thank you for the blood you have used to shield them, O oh God. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. <clears throat> God bless you all. God bless you all for tuning in <clears throat> this hour. By the grace of God, the Lord has ministered to us as we go our various homes. May we go manifesting the anointing and the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ in another dimension. And it shall be well with us all in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you all. Thank you so much, everyone that has tuned in. God bless you. God bless you. Lorena, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Sister Millie, God bless you. Sister Anne, God bless you. Ajekwa Amara, God bless you. God bless you for tuning in. Temi, Titi Lokwe, God bless you. Emmanuel, God bless you. Nkiru, God bless you. Azuike Uchena, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all for joining. Joy, Obi, Obi Nuchi, God bless you all. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Those of you, I can't mention your names. May the Lord bless you all for tuning in. Please, have you clicked the share button? If you have not clicked the share button, I mean, you have to click the share button. You have to click the share button because this kingdom work, we are both doing it. Yes, you have to be useful. You have to be, you, you know, you involve yourself. You have to involve yourself. You know, you have to click the share button so that many other people can be blessed through it. That is the only thing you can do for God in such gathering like this. It can't take you anything to just click the share button, share the message with your friends, share it on your wall, share it places you know people can be blessed through it. 
That is what the kingdom of God is about. It's about sharing, sharing the word of God, spreading the king, the, the, you know, the, the word of our Lord Jesus Christ, just as he has commanded us. So we should go into all the nations, spread the word of God, baptize men, bring men to Jesus. He never can tell who this message will be a blessing to. As you share, God bless you, Sister Anne, for sharing. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Yes. The Bible says that blessed is the hand that gives it, that the hand that takes it. So the hand that has given <coughs> the, 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 you know, the attitude of sharing today, receive your blessing. Yes. Give and it shall be given unto you. What are you giving? Give this, the, the, the gift of sharing. Share this word of God. <coughs> As you share, the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless us all. God bless us all. I have appreciated all my followers from the beginning. I want to appreciate you people all again. May the Lord bless you. I love you all with the love of God. I love you all. In fact, in fact, I don't know which word to use to express how, how dear you all are in my heart. And I am praying for all of you. What I want you all to do for me <coughs> and for yourself is to please, please, please love God the more this year. Love God the more this year. Make heaven your focus. Make God your target. He's, in fact, when you make him your target, is the greatest asset. Hallelujah. And it shall be well with you. This year, 2018, is our year of divine focus with great stability in Christ. Not just being focused. You have to be stable. You know, be stable in the Lord. Don't do wavering, wave in, wave out. No. God is not looking for such people. As you stay, as you stay stable, in the Lord this this year. Forget about what God will do for you. Try it first. There's no harm in trying things. Just try it. Begin that, you know, separate yourself from unnecessary things and the Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, before I go off, I want to just quickly remind us, you know, something. I want to, you know, personally thank you all I want to thank you all, every you know member of this ministry, those that are connected from far and near, those who believe in what God can do in this ministry. I want to appreciate you all for your support towards the mission building in Nigeria. In fact, we cannot thank you all enough. By the special grace of God, CBHIM Mission House in Lagos, Rokogun State, is is you know is up to a, a roofing level now by the grace of God, as I have put the picture on Facebook, you can go there and watch it. Those of you who have sown, who have supported, you can see that the Lord is at work. Please, I will continue to pray for you and continue to encourage you to please continue to support so that we can complete that mission house and let God do what only what Him can do with that house in the mighty name of Jesus. Is all for the kingdom of God. It is not for our own kingdom. The Bible says we should lay up our treasures where caterpillar, canker worms will not eat it up. We should stop laying, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 too much uh, 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 pressure or pleasure on things that will, will surely vanish, things that will die and leave, clothes, uh, too much of FEC. All those things cannot help anybody. People are dying every day now. They are not dying with anything. They only die with their soul, prepared for rapture. Those who know that, or those who know that, that is, that is only what I can see. I don't know how to paint words of all this giving, giving, no. I don't know it. What I know is that what you know is good, do it. And therefore, by the grace of God, if God is touching you, if God is touching you, if you know that your father's business is your business, kingdom business is your business, and you feel that the, you, you can feel that the Spirit of God is here. <laughs> I want you to please key into this, you know, uh, anointing. Key in and let God give you your own blessing. I urge you all to please continue to support so that we can, you know, start the roofing and start the finishing touches, like putting the, the doors and the windows you know, uh, the doors and the windows and uh, doing the plastering in and out and the uh, other things that remaining, the wiring, you know, um, what is it called? Mm. 
um, forgotten the other one the engineer told me so <coughs> all those things please i'm begging you if you want to support please let me know let me know inbox me inbox me okay be a partaker yes be a partaker so challenge god and you see what god will do in your life in the mighty name of jesus you see it there you see the building there is there so that is not like we are telling you to support something you don't know about that is the project is there is going on live we are not deceiving anybody this is my first time to talk about give his soul towards something i don't know how to do all those things even here, people know me. I don't. I'm not a minister of talking money, money, money. God will do what He He will do with those who wants to do it. God will not force you. You love God. You said you love God. How else can you show you, you show God you love Him? It is by supporting. Avenue, building the work of God. That is it. That is it. And you see that God will never forsake you. He will never abandon you. Please, please leave off the so that building, and the Lord God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you all with the love of God. I'll be leaving us now. And until tomorrow, <clears throat> tomorrow is Tuesday by the grace of God. I'm live now by the grace of God by 1 p.m. 1 p.m. on my wall here, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'm here on my wall. Thursday, Friday, I will go live from our women page, Empowered Women of Zion. Empowered Women of Zion. There we talk about other things, marriage-related issues, career skills, you know, health, living healthy, all those things. There is a lot we do there. So if you have not joined in that group, Empowered Women of Zion, please send your request in. You know, whatever God has for us, I will come up and tell us. And the Lord bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. So I will be leaving us now. I remain your faithful servant, Evangelist Lovelyn Obi, from Christ the Beauty of Holiness International Ministry. May the Lord bless you all. Please stay tuned. Stay tuned. for anything.